Hello guys and welcome back to a new video and today we are going to be tying the foam daddy long legs. So when tying these flies I like to use a wet fly shape hook and this is in size 12 and it is the Arax Freshwater series. These are some of the best hooks I've ever used because they're so strong and they're chemically sharpened so they're absolutely perfect for this. So what we want to do is always is get our thread and just start wrapping it onto the hook and get about halfway and then snip off that tag at the end. And once we get to the end where the hook sort of ends, we start going back a few wraps to there, like so. Then what we want to do here is grab our foam body that we made and then just do a couple loose wraps and then pinch wrap that in. And it should start to look something like that. Then what we want to do here is get our scissors and snip off at an angle like so and this helps create a taper for when we tie the rest of that down like so. So we should have something looking like that. Then when we get to this stage we want to get our legs for the fly and what I use is pheasant tails and I knot them like so. And what we want to do is pull off a few legs because we want around four for this fly. So we have one that side and then we repeat that to the other side. And just a couple wraps to hold this in place for the moment. And then with these next ones, we want to get some height on these. So we just tie those in at an angle like so. So once we have it in, the legs should start to look like that grab your scissors and pull up the rest of the pheasant tail butt ends that we don't need, snip those off and then just tie those in. So it should look like that. Then the next step is, is to get your hackle and at the tip of your hackle you want to use these for wings of the fly. So you pull down some fibres and you want to have something looking like that and that is the wing for the daddy long legs. Then once you have that you snip that off so it should look something like that and you want to do that twice and what you want to do is just tie that in like that at one end and then repeat it the other side like so so now you have them in place it should look something like that and then just tie those in so once you get to this stage what you need to do is grab another foam body but this time you haven't melted it it's just the cut off from the gun reel cutters and you want to just stretch it out a small bit and just roll your fingers so it increases the size of it then what I like to do is get my scissors and cut halfway like so down the whole way of this body so you get two and this will create the body of the fly and the head so what you do is you just snip the piece lengthways in half like so and what you do once you've got that snip off one end of the foam and create an angle, like a pointed end like so, because that helps you tie it in to the fly. And then do a loose couple pinch wraps and then tie that in just up where it butts up to those wings and then just wrap this down like so. Then once you get to this stage, what you want to do is get another another hackle because this is going to now be the main part of the fly and then grab your hackle and what you want to do is just rip off the duff end of the fly like so of the feather sorry then snip off a tag end just like that and then tie this in to the fly like so then bring your thread to the end of the fly like that and then start wrapping your hackle until you get to the end and what you want to do get these fibres out of the way is wiggle your thread so you don't catch any of those hackle fibres and you have that what you want to do is cut off that excess tag and then separate the fibres like so, grab the foam pull that over and 
do a couple wraps in place like so then what you want to do is grab your whip finish tool and then wiggle your thread while you do that just so you don't catch any of those fibers tie that off cut off the thread and then with this excess foam pull it up and cut about half an inch or so like that and then with your scissors just cut all of this excess hackle around the edge of the fly so there you have it you're finished daddy long legs thanks for watching guys so the materials that are used today the foam is from up Avon fly fishing make sure you check the link in the description you can get 10 different varieties of the high density foam colors and you can also get these wicked cutters that cut out these shapes the thread that was used today is the Vivus F18 in 6 slash O and that is in the light green colour and the hook of course is from Arax.